class. Today we're going on a field trip to the cornfields of Iowa to learn about the life cycle of corn. I bet you didn't realize, but there are different types of corn. There's sweet corn, which is often sold fresh on the cob, like the stuff you buy from the store or produce stand. This type of corn can also be processed and frozen or canned. Another type of corn is field corn. This corn doesn't taste very good, and it's typically processed to make food products, manufactured goods, and is exported to other countries and used as food for farm animals. Check this out! Did you know that you can grow your own popcorn? That's right! You can plant and harvest your own popcorn seeds just the same way farmers grow sweet corn and field corn. But before we get started, here are some things you need to know about the different parts of corn. Check out these key words. Roots, stalk, leaves, tassel, Silk, ears, and kernels. Now let's check out how the corn grows. In the spring, farmers prepare the ground to plant the seeds. Once the seeds are planted and watered, it only takes about two to three days before the seed begins to swell with water, which causes the roots to break through the shell of the seed. Three to five days after that, the plant should start to stick up out of the soil. The stalk grows quickly for five to six weeks and the roots grow stronger so that they can hold up the weight of the corn. Once the stalk reaches about five to six feet tall, the tassel forms at the top of the plant. Did you know that some corn plants can grow seven to ten feet tall? When the corn is done growing, it turns a brownish color. In the fall, typically October or November, the corn is completely brown and ready to be picked. For large crops, farmers use a tractor-like machine called a combine to harvest the corn. Did you know that corn can be used for many things like food for livestock, ethanol, which is a safer type of gas, and products we use every day like candy bars, fruit juice, soap, crayons, chips, cleaners, bubble gum, and soda? Actually, there are over 4,000 products made from corn today. Of course, corn is harvested to eat too. After all, what's a summer barbecue without corn on the cob? Let's review. ground needs to be prepared so that the seed can be planted. Second, the ground where the seeds were planted needs to be watered. Third, the corn sprouts out of the ground and begins to grow where we can see it. Fourth, the corn grows quickly and gets stronger to support the weight of the corn that is soon to come. Fifth, once the corn reaches about five to six feet tall, tassels grow from the top of the plant. And finally, once the corn has turned completely brown, we know it is now ready to be picked. Now, with the help of an adult, check the labels of some items around your house. What can you find that has corn in it? 